Hi, my name is Jeffrey Favalora, and I work in private practice as a psychologist, also as a Reiki healer and Reiki teacher. For many years, I've been working with helping people develop their psychic abilities, and one thing that strikes me particularly is that everyone I meet has some form of psychic or intuitive ability. It's really a matter of where you are on the continuum of having a small amount or a large amount and how you can develop more of those abilities. For myself, I've often been since childhood aware of uh, subtle tears in unspoken words, in body language, uh, picking up on feelings that haven't been spoken out loud and developing a sensitivity to pick up on you know the, the feelings of people things that aren't spoken things would come into my mind or I would speak out things and why did I say that and it's been the right thing to say sensing around people are uh, the things that are wrong in their body and all these abilities fall into the there's, there's several categories as clear sentience, clear audience, clairvoyance. And I'm probably more clear sentient in the sense that I, I pick up through feeling more uh, and touch. Uh, I can feel through objects. Uh, I sit in a, a car or you know, go into someone else's house and I'm picking up on the feelings. Uh, or the vibrations there uh, on a sentient or, or feeling level. Some people are more like clairvoyant in, in terms of seeing things and sometimes I also get visions uh, in meditation things will come to me, some, some uh, sights uh, and sometimes these are symbolic like if I'm working with someone and have you know like a vision of a, a bicycle it may not mean that they're going to uh, go and buy a bicycle. It might mean that they had a particular relationship to a bicycle or part of the you know, earlier time in their lives. A bicycle was significant or there's certain feelings around that time of life. So I do be very careful in interpreting uh, visions and, and also working with our dreams. Sometimes they can be very symbolic and not quite you know, literally what they seem. And this is where people get uh, sort of caught out or, or tricked up. There can also be a clear audience where I'm hearing things. Uh, some people are more uh, of the auditory nature and will pick up things from a hearing sense. Some people are more clear cognizance, which means that they, they get thoughts about things. They're not quite sure, uh, they don't get a vision or a feeling, but a thought comes in, now's the time uh, to do this. Uh, now this is going to happen next. Uh, so a thought, a direct thought will come. Uh, might have a thought, someone's thinking about me, uh, in which case they may well be. So we all have a sense of uh, these subtleties and what I'd like to encourage you to think of um, psychic abilities as, as of a subtle mind. Uh, scientists now have pretty clearly established that like 90% of our mind is, is subconscious or out of their consciousness and through hidden habits, uh, our you know, parasympathetic nervous systems and hormonal systems, a lot of things we're just reacting to. And that also includes a subtle mind which uh, is very difficult to scientifically check out and say this is, this is it. But all of us have these certain abilities and whatever yours is, then that's the way to, to work more on uh, developing that subtle or sensitive mind. Because it is about sensitivity. It's about sensitivity to feelings, uh, intuitions, and not ignoring those. When we grow up, we're told by teachers or parents, don't daydream, uh, you know, be, be logical. Our, our education system is about being rational and logical. And often those daydreams and uh, subtle visualizations and feelings uh, a very, very rich field uh, of information and, and knowledge. One way to practice this is 
like when you're looking at people uh, around you is to have a sense of what are they feeling try and check out through your subtle mind what are they feeling you know like when you're walking down the street someone will walk past or you see someone you go wow I think that's a very sad person or a very angry person you sort of pick up on that in their feelings and sometimes women are very highly developed around say subtly around sexual energy of, of someone so wherever we are we can develop more our sensitivity and to question that as much as possible what is that person really feeling what are they what are they thinking and and check it out like uh, if, if we have an intuition about something check it out did it come true uh, if we have um, a feeling about you know which way to go turn left or right in the road which is a which is the best way to go uh, as soon as we, we follow and trust our intuition more and more the greater that subtle mind or sensitivity develops uh, I guarantee it. it it just develops and like Picking up objects and just and just trying to sense out, you know, where was a where were those keys? You know, who owned those before? The feeling of the person who owned those keys or that object, uh, tuning into that. So it's about not being lazy in a sense. It's about checking out and tuning and using your subtle or sensitive mind. And the more you do that, the more it's like a muscle. It's like going to the gym. The more you develop it, and so you become quicker and quicker at it. In the workshops I've run on developing psychic abilities, I've had one exercise where people look at a, someone else's photo uh, of someone, that, that, uh, another participant in the group, and just to check out whether they feel that person is happy, sad, if they had illnesses. And one of the exercises on my psychic CD, uh, the many techniques I, I go through there, is on body uh, and psychic surgery, where you actually move your awareness and it's through the subtle mind, the imaginative mind, as you will, into another person's body and sensing how they're feeling in that body. How, what is the shape of their organs? Are there any you know, spots that are weak? Could you know, you strengthening that aren't so healthy? And each of us has this ability, uh, whether we know it or not, and might happen in just small amounts. And the more you develop it, the stronger it becomes. And don't hesitate to ask people. Uh, you know, if you feel safe around friends or family, say, look, I just sense, you know, that you, do you get sort of an ache in your shoulder much or something? And the, and the people are quite happy to uh, say, you know, because you're showing an interest in them, you know, say and tell you. Uh, and they might say, yeah, I've had a sore neck, you know, something. So that builds your confidence to trust that, that feeling. And it's not about being intrusive and you have to be careful around, you know, uh, how much you delve into someone and whether you know, their the permission where they want to, etc. And there are other issues to look at. But just if you get permission, uh, practice and build that, that muscle, intuitive muscle. Finally, everyone has psychic abilities, whether it's clairaudience, sentience, cognizance, uh, whether you can delve into as a body intuitive to look into someone else, whether you can astral travel, each of us has some element of these abilities, but in some one in particular, you'll be stronger uh, in one mode than another mode. It's a matter of identifying that, number one, and two, no, uh, practicing that and trusting that. And don't be put off. Uh, sometimes we're wrong, sometimes we're right. Once I was walking in a path and in the park, and there's two paths left or right, and I said to my intuition, which path do I take? Uh, and oh, I was really feeling drawn to the left path. So I follow that. And in the middle of the park, no one around, uh, couldn't see anybody around, there's a $10 note on the, on the, just on the grass. So, well, th th there you are, there. that's a good affirmation back to trust my intuition. So I'm not guaranteeing you're going to find $10 notes, but good luck with it and uh, bye for now. <laughs>